Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to continue working on part 6 of this coffee shop. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to create the MEP for this so that we could add more um, aesthetics. So now we're going to continue working on the outside and we're going to add in some awning here and some design. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to East Elevation and we're going to pull this down a little bit. So once we pull this down, we'll be able to add details. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to 3D and then I'm going to use align to align this. So we already pulled this down and we could add in our design at the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to model in place, generic model. And then now we're going to use sweep. So once you click sweep, we're going to pick the path and we're going to pick this path. And then we're going to go below here. So instead of here, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the ones for the window. I think it's much better to have it on the window side so that it's easier for us to connect it all together. So I'm just using TR, so trim and extend so that to extend that one and then after that let's go and click finish edit mode and then click on edit profile and then here we're going to be able to add in the profile for this and what i'm going to do is i'm going to use rectangle first and let's do it like that and let's set the distance to around 200 and then from here I want it to be around 200 as well and then after that we could add in some details so here I'm going to use a rectangle or a square square rectangle and I'm going to add in this detail after that type in SL and then from that SL, I'm going to type in TR, so to trim and extend. And then here we could give more space, so maybe around 15 will be good. And then after that, before we click finish, what we could set the materials first. And this one, let's do a metal finish. I'm going to use bronze. Apply OK. And then click finish. And then finish again. It will look like that. And then click finish on that. So far, so good. So you can see we could have this one. And then let's go to level one. And I'm just going to put this back. So I'm just going to move this right here and click on section. And then here, I'm just going to edit the boundary. And I want to just go around here 
so that it doesn't show at the top and then we just need to tr and then click finish and once we go back to 3d as you can see it's just only at that point now so now that we have this design here we could then design the awning at the top so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to level one and the, the awning will be at the top here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to model in place again generic model and then here i'm going to create an extrusion and i'm just going to put it on level one and then from there i'm gonna uh, extrude it and fix whatever we need to fix so here let's set the distance to around i think 450 is good enough or let's just make it 500 and then here as well let's go 500 And then after that, just delete whatever you can delete and then type in TR to trim and extend. So now that everything is good, what we can do is let's create a rectangle. And I'm just going to do a 300. So basically 100, 100 here. So let's see if that's correct let's see the distance so we could just estimate it to be in the middle for this one let's do 500 and let's check this distance around 150 that's good enough and then here we cannot use array so we could just copy and then after that we can keep on copying And then let's flip this. I'm just going to copy it on the side. And just rotate it. Just a 90 degree rotation. And let's put it back right here. somewhere here and let's start adding and copying it again and then copying it so it's easy to use the tab once you use the tab it will highlight everything so it's it's a lot faster So now we could just click finish and make sure to change the material. So let's do a metal as well. And for this, let's use copper. We already have copper. Let's use this copper. Patina. 
don't fit, try to finish it yet because we need to pull this up like that and pull it up this way as well I want it to be all the way at the top and just a good awning Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to change uh, materials for some of this. I'm going to extend this. Somewhere like that. And then let's click finish. And then here, that's change. So this is the ease elevation. Um, let's change the transparency to zero so that we don't see it anymore there. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to split the face of this. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a separation right here and then click finish so this is basically a different so let's double check so as you can see I made a mistake and put it on the other side So I want to sp split the face of this, not the other one. So let's go back here and then just add this. Okay, so now we can set the paint. And then let's change it to a different So now this is different and I want this side to be different as well. So let's click on paint again and we could change this to a roof. There's not a lot of um, selection for this so that's why we got to do what we got to do and set it, make sure to set it properly. And then here we could change the graphic display transparency as well to zero so that we know what we're doing. Let's use roof like we said. Okay, I know it looks weird, but it is what it is. And this one is a different one, I believe. And then the materials of that is different from the materials here. Um, I'm still thinking of adding something around here. And we need to insert the entrance here. So for the door. So we need to go to door. 
So go to back to main and then click on door. And then here we have the single curtain wall, single glass. Click open. And then what you do is you need to select the panel itself. So I think it's easier to see it from here. So click that. So the single panel place. You click it and then change it from here. You need to do it here as well again. And there we go. We just need to delete this and delete the ones at the bottom as well. And then what we need to do is go to the floor plan and then flip it going outside. Click finish. And it looks good. I want to set this one as well. So modify paint. I don't know what happened here, but he already set that one to a different material. So we set this one to a different one. And then for the ceiling, I want to set it to a different material as well. So I want to change this to parking stripe. There we go. Just to change it. So we change this as well. We have the entrance and we have everything. So let's stop here for now and continue on the next video. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.